We are at Dollar General. They have so many great new items for fall, so I can't wait to go check it out and of course come up with some DIYs. I wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right now. So we just walked into Dollar General and at their new Dollar General stores, they have all of their home decor out displayed. It looks so nice. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite items. You guys, check out this soup bowl. It's this really pretty blue mint green color. So pretty, $5 for fall. They also have it down here in this orange color. Look at the throw blankets yet. How much are these? Okay, this one's 15. Okay, I have one very similar to this. $12? Look at this, Delaney. That Look is how cute so that cute. is. So cute, you guys. Oh, I love this one. $12. You could easily spend $30 on a blanket like this at a higher end store. You guys, this little pure soap container is $3 and you can also get it in this blue color. I have a DIY idea for this. We're gonna grab this. This one too, you guys, is $5. Look how high end that looks. So cute. I'm gonna spray the top of the soap dispenser with two coats of a flat black spray paint. The base that's glass, I'm gonna be using a spray paint called Sea Glass. I'll link it for you down in the description box if you're interested in picking it up, but it's going to give the glass just a nice frosted look, and here is how it turned out. Look at these marble coasters, you guys. Like, this is unreal. $6 for these? So cute. A set of four, we are grabbing these. Couldn't believe I was able to get these really nice coasters for only $6, you guys. But I did wanna add a fun DIY technique to them. Recently, I did a video where I created a paint pour tray and in the comments, you guys loved it so much. So I wanted to show you an option for paint pour on these coasters. So I started by getting out my frog tape. For me, I think this is the best painter's tape and I'm going to go right down the middle with my painter's tape. So I have half of the coasters covered with tape. I'm gonna repeat this for all the four coasters, trying to cover them about the same. I picked out several colors this fall at Sherwin-Williams that I wanted to use for my fall color palette and then I got some sample paints. I'm gonna be using three of those colors today. I'm gonna start by putting the white in a disposable cup, then I'll add the green and the red. Now paint pouring is so fun, you guys, because you really just get to have fun with it and create just such an awesome piece. Now what I did was I started by putting a little bit of the paint on one of the coasters and realized I kind of needed to mix it up. Then I'm just going to lightly pour the mixture onto my coasters. I'm going to do this gradually and add additional paint. That way I can get some of that white that's at the bottom of my cup on my coasters. Then I'm gonna pick up the coasters and move them side to side because I want the top and the sides of my coasters to be covered. You also wanna create fun patterns that happen whenever the paint starts to drip. Once you have a coaster, you know, the way you think it looks great, then you wanna set it on something high so it can dry. Any remaining paint will just drip off onto a board. Once these have a chance to dry overnight, which I always let paint pour dry overnight, I'll remove the painter's tape. I love the way these turned out. I think they're gonna look so great in my living room and go great with all of my fall decor.
You guys, it is FabFitFun time. If you are not familiar with FabFitFun, it is a seasonal subscription box and their fall box is ready to be shipped out to you. I can't wait to show you guys what's in my fall box, but I wanted to tell you, if you're not familiar with FabFitFun, it's basically a subscription service where you can get home, beauty, lifestyle, full-size products sent directly to your home. It has a seasonal subscription price of $49.99, but for Liz from McDIY followers, you guys can get $10 off your first box by using my code Liz10 at checkout. And I have found that FabFitFun is such a great deal because you get the full size products and some of these products alone are worth more than the price of the subscriptions. Let me show you guys what I got for fall. And the cool thing is too, you can customize your own box. So you can actually pick out the items that you want to receive, which I love. So the first thing I want to show you is this Our House candle. It's in this really copper, cool, just perfect for fall 10 it has a great smell I also picked out a lot of home stuff because you guys know I love this this is the our house waffle blanket it's in kind of this army green color which I've been loving lately I was actually thinking about painting a wall in like my front room with this color so you guys don't have to let me know if you guys like this color I'm gonna put that on my gray couch in my office and then I also love this little jewelry organizer. Look how cool this would be sitting out with all your jewelry in it. I could see this in my bathroom or really anywhere. Just throw your jewelry in it and you can easily fold it up. Now I told you they have a lot of beauty products, but the cool thing is you can get full size products. So this caviar anti-aging CC cream is one that I actually use and enjoy. There's actually quite a bit in here that I'm not gonna have a chance to show you guys. So much comes in your FabFitFun box, so it's a really good deal. My favorite thing I'm most excited about is this after dinner trivia. I love playing trivia. We usually take it in our RV and play it at night. So if you wanna try out the fall boxes, because I definitely think it's worth it, you can use my code Liz10, and I'll put the link to FabFitFun down in the description box. And I wanna thank FabFitFun for sponsoring today's video. I hate spending too much money on lamps. At Dollar General, they have them between like, I think eight and $18. These are 18, these are like eight to 12, and then some of these are like 16. These lamps are really on trend and you're gonna save a ton of money. We're gonna grab one and I'll show you how it looks in my daughter's room. I was so bummed because the clip of the pillows at Dollar General got cut off. They have some awesome pillows out this fall that are priced between $5 and $10. I picked up two of them and I'm going to style them in my living room and I think they look great sitting out on these accent chairs. So if you're in need of pillows, check out Dollar General. The candles are only $5. This one's called Maple Bourbon and it smells so good. This one's vanilla pumpkin. I think I like the maple bourbon better. It's so affordable, you could probably get both of them. These water bottles are so cute, adorable for fall, $8. You guys, look at all these rugs they have here. You can have bath rugs, like front door rugs. They even have area rugs here. I think this one is really cute and only $5. You guys, these planters are like a concrete material. This one's five and this one's three. Really cute sitting out in a grouping or you could get three that are the same size. You guys check out these cute clocks they're ten dollars each you can pick your color these would look great sitting out in your living room or on a mantle i'm so excited i just found these natural wood trays the larger one's eight then you have a smaller one that's six and this little tiny one is four dollars you guys these are at dollar general right now
So the Dollar General store we were at, they had quite a bit of stuff, but some of their fall stuff they didn't have out yet. My town has three Dollar Generals, so we're headed to the other one to see if we can find more items. Crossing our fingers, we already got some great stuff, so hopefully we can find the other fall stuff. It's me, yo. We made it to the next Dollar General store and I'm loving these plaid throws. These are really good quality. They're 50 by 60 inches. They're $15. I love this one. There's also this one as well if you want a separate pattern. I was trying to come up with something a little clever that we could do with this throw blanket because it's such a pretty fabric. So I had a stool on hand that I had purchased from Ross probably about a year ago and I traced it around a piece of foam that I already had. It was about one inch foam and then I cut out a circle with the foam. Next, I'm gonna pull out that plaid blanket that I got, and I'm going to cut out the fabric to use to cover this. Now, there's gonna be a lot of excess fabric here, so you could use this for something as well. Then I'm going to grab my staple gun, and I'm going to staple it to the back of this stool. Once you're going around the legs, you wanna make sure you cut off any excess fabric and then you're gonna fold it under so it's not going to stick up funny on the side. And if you have any excess fabric as you're going, just cut that off and it really helps you to get a clean staple. And here's a look at how the stool turned out. You guys, check out the size of these storage bins, $12. You could fit so much in these, and I think they would work for fall, but also after fall as well. Really cute. Warm flannel, how much is it? $5, you guys, these candles are huge. They're gonna last like all fall, probably into winter. They have so many candle options. These adorable pumpkins are only a dollar. So cute for fall. Check out this cute wood crate, $5, love it, and I love the way it's painted. You guys, kitchen towels at Dollar General are always such a great price. I'm loving this one, it's only $2, and I definitely think we can do something with this. Let's DIY this crate. So I wanted to measure the bottom of it, so I started by putting some craft paper in, and as I was doing it, it was just wrinkling up and tearing. It wasn't working out well. Mm. So what I decided to do was just trace around the base of this crate and I'm going to cut that out. Next, I'm going to put that paper inside. I'm gonna to continue to cut it so it fits into my crate. This is gonna give me the template I need for my dish towel. I'm gonna lay out the dish towel and put the template on the back, trace around it. Now after I put it in, I still had to do some additional cutting. I had some of the corners were rounded, so I rounded off the corners until it fit in great. Now with fabric, you can use hot glue, but another great option to really get fabric to hold to whatever you're trying to hold it to is to use spray adhesive. I really like this one. I'll link it for you guys down in the description box, but I've used it several times and it works well, but it does really hold well once it dries. To dress up the handles, I'm gonna take some twine that I had from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to wrap it around the handles and hot glue it at the beginning and end, and I'll repeat that on both sides. And here's a look at how this crate turned out. Cute. Look at these pots, six dollars. Definitely getting one. You 
guys know I love doing a high-end look for less. The ones on Pottery Barn's website are glass. These are plastic for just a dollar, but you could have a collection of these sitting out on your table. You could put a candle in them and have that exact same look. Let me know what your favorite item I found was today at Dollar General down in the comments. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I post two DIYs each week on Monday and Thursday, and I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.